What's up guys, The Snowman here, and today I want to go over the four main types of playing styles in tennis. Uh, not every player is going to fit perfectly into these categories, but they, uh, they serve more as general guidelines. So I want to go over them today. The four playing styles are aggressive baseliner, big server, counter puncher, and all around player. Uh, so I wanna take a look at the strengths of these four players, the weaknesses, and then I'll give you some examples of uh, professionals who fit these categories best. So we'll begin with the aggressive baseliner and uh, aggressive baseliners, they like to dictate play from the back of the court with very powerful, consistent ground strokes from both wings, uh, both the forehand and the backhand. Aggressive baseliners not very comfortable at the net, but they will pounce on short balls, try to use the geometry of the court to hit angled winners, and they will grind you down with long, grueling, physical rallies. These players typically have great stamina and they can hit from the baseline for hours. So some examples of great aggressive baseliners in the game today. I wrote down uh, Rafael Nadal, Maria Sharapova, Dominic Thiem, Stan Wawrinka, and Garbina Muguruza, some of the biggest hitters in the game, and they do it from the back of the court superbly. So if you're playing against an aggressive baseliner, uh, I've got a few pieces of advice. One, I try to get them off the baseline, uh, throw in some drop shots, slices. It's all about the variety. Uh, you're going to want to lure them to the net, make them hit volleys, since typically that's not going to be their strong suit. It's also important to stay sharp with the depth of your rally balls, because if you hit anything short, they will gobble those up. And then finally, sometimes you just have to cross your fingers and hope the aggressive baseliner misfires, because uh, they typically have a lot of power in the arsenal. The second main playing style in tennis is the big server, also kind of the serve and volleyer. We'll get to that in a sec. But the big server, as you can guess from the name, uh, these players have huge serves, both up the tee or out wide with the kick. They want to end the point as quickly as possible. If not on the serve, uh, expect a healthy dose of 1-2 power tennis. You know, the serve plus one, where a put away power forehand may immediately follow their serve. And they are not interested in long rallies, big servers, mainly just trying to hold serve, maybe win sets in tiebreakers at the worst. And then uh, I said you could lump the serve and volley You're in this category, but there's so few players who consistently serve and volley every point uh, that, that that's kind of a dying breed. So the big servers in the game today, the best are John Isner, Milos Raonic, I put down Karolina Pliskova, Julia Gerges, and then Nick Kyrgios. Kyrgios maybe not so much uh, conventionally like Isner or Raonic, but he does have a huge serve, can get into the 140s. He does a lot of other things as well. But uh, those are five of the biggest servers in the game today. And if you're facing one of these guys, uh, there's not a ton of factors in your control because these players can take the racket out of your hands completely. Uh, obviously, you have to return well. I would also maybe vary my return positioning. Uh, at times, you can hug the baseline. You know, other times go 6, 9, 12 feet back. And then I guess the other piece of simplistic advice would uh, would be to focus all your, your might into holding your own serve because if a player like John Isner gets one break against you, that often means the set is over. Next up then is the counter puncher, and for them it's all about consistent defense. Counter punchers are some of the best movers and overall athletes on the court. They win the majority of their points from their opponents making unforced errors, not so much from hitting winners or flashy shots themselves. And it can be frustrating to play against counter punchers because they rarely make mistakes. They're not afraid to play in elongated rallies, and counter punchers rarely miss balls. They tend to hit the ball with great depth, and they have every defensive shot in the tool bag. So some of the best counter punchers in the game today, I think about Andy Murray. Uh, despite his injuries here at the end of his career, he's still one of the best defenders. Caroline Wozniacki, Angelique Kerber, Simona Halep, and the, uh, the uber-athletic Gael Monfils, some of the best counter punchers in the the game today. Uh, the number one thing to remember if you are facing them is remain patient. They want you to go for home run shots, so try to stay within your skill set. I would also attack the, the net more. Uh, it may throw off their rhythm from the back, and it's a good way to finish off points if you don't necessarily have the offensive firepower. Finally, one other strategic uh, point would be to hit them, hit behind them, since many of these counter punchers, speedy, great athletes, uh, they're very adept at covering the open court, so maybe once in a while throwing a ball that is behind them when they're running around. And finally, we get to the fourth archetype of tennis style, that is the all-around player. And these players have the most versatile capabilities, comfortable hitting every shot in the book, serve, forehand, backhand, volleys, droppers, slices, lobs, 
They have good combination of power, spin, placement, you name it. Uh, the, the problem solvers also, they can adapt to their opponents. If they're playing a counter puncher, they can take the initiative, get on the front foot. Also, uh, they have reliable defensive skills against the power players. So it's not necessarily one trait that defines their game. It's all about being well-rounded, no weaknesses, and the best all-around players. Uh, one of them, the man right behind me, Roger Federer, known for being one of the greatest all-around players in tennis. Also put down uh, Belinda Bencic, Sloane Stevens, the combination of offense and defense. Serena Williams, no surprise there. Another GOAT. And then uh, Novak Djokovic. And uh, Joker, maybe earlier in his career, was more of a counter puncher, uh, you know, love baseline rallies. But I think he's added a lot more offense to his game. So that's why I consider Djokovic now, uh, with his beefed up serve, more of an all-around player because there's pretty much nothing that Novak can't do on the court. So if you're up against one of these all-around titans, uh, not a lot you can say for strategy. I would just stick to doing what you do best because... Uh, they're they're gonna they're gonna react to you anyways. So if you can identify a specific weakness, I would attack that. For example, on clay, uh, Federer can break down if you keep peppering his one-handed backhand with some high bouncing looping balls. He doesn't like it high to the backhand side. Uh, but the strategy against the all-arounders really more about assessing the situation on that giving day and then reacting to how these players are playing at that particular moment. So again, I know every tennis player isn't going to fit quite perfectly into these four uh, cookie cutter styles of tennis player, but uh, hopefully you can see that there are strengths and weaknesses for each one. Leave a comment, let me know which one you are, uh, but thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to the Snowman Sports Media, give me a thumbs up, and I'll be back very soon. Cheers!